Howdy guys, it's Joe and today you're probably going to be watching this video if you're stuck at a rank and you want to be able to get out of that. Probably a rank around gold, silver, bronze, maybe even platinum that you've been stuck at for quite a while and that you just can't seem to figure out what you can do and what you can change and what you should really focus on. And today I want to tell you guys some big mistakes that I see a lot of people do and some other things that you can do to actually help yourself carry out of that elo uh, with relative ease. Now of course if you're already ranking up really really well with the character that you're playing then keep doing that and if you're already ranking up by yourself that's amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. But if you felt stuck for a while I hope this video will be able to help you a little bit and give you a few things that you can maybe focus on. Anyways with that out of the way let's just get on to the first thing and that first thing is to learn how to stand in high ground and position far enough back where you won't die. And let's say this really applies to the majority of supports and the majority of DPS in the game. Of course, when you're in a lot higher ranks, a lot of the times you want to focus on making these big explosive plays, getting in there, and winning your team the team fight. Uh, but often, a lot of the times, when you're in these lower ranks, you don't really honestly need to do that way too much. I'd say that consistency is far more important than pulling out big flashy plays, and especially learning how to take high ground, take good positioning, and staying far enough back where you aren't going to die, supplies consistent damage or consistent healing at a range that the enemies honestly can't deal with way too much. If you're moving around miles backwards, then maybe a Widowmaker might an off chance hit you, but otherwise, you're going to be pretty safe. You're going to be helping your team a lot, and especially if you're playing DPS, you're going to be a lot more useful than if you're just running up melee range and doing what you might be normally doing. As well, I'm going to say that honestly, having high ground that by itself can win you a lot of games, uh, especially on maps like Gibraltar on the last point where there's a huge amount of high ground. If you run up there with someone like Soldier and start shooting down, it's really hard for the majority of the enemy cast to beat you, and most people just can't figure out how to take you out. So yeah, I'd say that's a really good idea. Now kind of continuing with that, I guess as far as the fourth thing goes, I want to tell you guys, don't go these melee range carry heroes. That being Genji, Tracer, Doomfist if that guy ever comes out, or girl, whatever. Um, now of course these characters are amazing. They are very strong and they can win you a lot of games if you have the super good mechanics. But the thing is, if you're in this rank, I'm not going to like spread out, hey everybody's bad. But in general, you probably won't have the best mechanics and you're probably overall going to do a little bit better playing heroes that are further range, a little bit more safe, and people that can do more consistent damage without mainly being as risky. I feel like the number one thing to keep in mind here is that if you're trying to carry your team, you have to remember, I have to be alive for as long as possible, to be able to carry them for as long as possible. And of course, if you're running up as a melee range character, your chance of death just simply increases by itself. And of course, your mechanics needed to stay alive and mechanics needed to get kills also increases. Now, of course, if you're already doing great as these characters and you already know how to play them and you have been carrying yourself for a while and you keep going up in rank, I'd say, you know, continue playing them. Keep going for that. But if you've been playing these characters for a long time, you've been stuck exactly at where you are, maybe go into the practice range, practice dodging hooks, uh, practice, you know, just getting around melee range, getting a lot of headshots, practice shooting at their neck instead of their head. And if that doesn't work, maybe try somebody else to try to carry your team and learn these characters once you get a little bit better at the rest of the game. Now, to something completely different, I want to talk about ultimates. I'm going to say that these probably have won me when I'm on my smurf like 80% of the rounds, simply using my ultimate better than the enemies and learning when to use it. I'd say the only way to really do this is to, I guess, watch guides that show you every single time to use it or tell you every single time to use it play the character a lot, or watch a lot of esports and or just a lot of pro players playing the character and seeing how they use their ultimates and seeing how it's a little bit different than what you are maybe doing with your ultimate. Of course, a great, great example of this is McCree with his ultimate. Compare yourself to a pro player and you'll see how it is much, much different. But overall, I'm going to say, try to learn exactly how to use your ultimate and make sure, especially if you're already doing this, to not waste it to combo your ultimate with other people's terrible teammate ultimates. I see so many times where somebody shoots off Izario way out in the boonies, maybe hits one person and it's obviously not going to do way too much. Uh, but then right after that we get a Reinhardt on that thing, uh, we get a Hanzo on that thing, and we just wasted all his ultimates. And these things are so important in this game. If you can happen to save them and use them at the right time, that'll help you win a ton of games. And you overall just have to put in a lot of effort to learn when to do that. As well, again, if you do see a really, really out there teammate ultimate, just don't use it on that. Save yours, and ask your teammates to save theirs also. A lot of times if you talk in chat or type in chat, don't ult, people won't. And if you already lost a fight and it's like 2v5, tell your teammates to not ult, as I feel like 80% of the time they just will for no reason. And if you tell them, they probably won't. At least it's a high percent chance that they won't. And now this next thing is, I'm going to say, 
not something that you should probably do in higher elos. It, it probably won't work, and if it's not working in your game, so well, sorry about that. But something that has won me actually quite a few games when I'm playing down here is to pocket your best players when you have to play support, or on the other hand, camping the enemy's best players if you're any other role, uh, that being canker, offense, or really anything. Now, I feel like this can be pretty good, maybe not always, but pretty good if you know that there's a decent player on your team. If you've played a game already with somebody and they did okay, or if you're half a round up and you see a player that's doing a lot of damage and doing decently, but maybe just dying a little bit too much on your team. You can go to them as Mercy or someone, and essentially just pocket them. I know that it's not the best way to carry, but honestly keeping your best teammate alive can actually win you quite a bit of gains instead of half healing a ton of different people and letting them all die. As far as the enemy team though, and this is the thing that I feel like is much more effective, is to camp the enemy's best player. Now I'm sure that a lot of you guys have seen this, where the enemy seems to have one really really good tr uh, player. Maybe it's a tracer, maybe it's a soldier, or maybe it's even a tank uh, like a Zarya. But what you can do, and what I'd say that you might want to try to do in some games, if, if this is going on, there is a player that's very very good, is to pick somebody like Roadhog, or pick somebody like Reaper, or maybe even a tracer, and kind of just wait around corners, uh, especially on defense. Wait for them to come around, and then pop them in the head a few times. A lot of times you can actually just hide behind the enemy's spawn, or hide behind the enemies, where it's somewhere that they just normally don't walk, wait for that one good player, and then kill them. And then do it again, and then do it again, and then do it again, until they finally figure it out, and then a lot of the times your teammates have already pushed up quite a bit by then, and you can just go back to whatever you were doing before. I well, I, I will also say that this does uh, give you the added benefit of tilting them a lot, which can actually win you a lot of games, and when you do tilt the enemy's main best player, yeah, that can be nice. Of course, a problem can be if you can't happen to actually figure out their best player, but I feel like a lot of the times it is pretty obvious, and if you can't happen to figure that out, you actually can win yourself a decent amount of games. It's a little bit scummy, uh, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And for the final thing to be able to carry your team, or at least for this season and probably for a little while in the future right now, is to simply learn how to play Far Mercy, duo Q Far Mercy, and take the free wins. Honestly, I'm gonna say right now, even if you aren't very great at these characters, if you can just stay in the air, deal a decent amount of splash damage to people, and just get through them, you're gonna be able to carry yourself through more games than you think you could. As well, getting better at the character while playing them more and more will help you get better. Uh, but in general, I'm going to say that, especially when you're in bronze, silver, and gold, you really aren't that counterable, honestly. A soldier can kill you, but it's actually quite hard for the soldier player to be able to do it. Most McCrees aren't at high enough level to actually take you out both. And then finally, Widowmakers, you know, you might find some smurfs, but the average player probably can't do that. As well, most Roadhogs probably won't be able to hook you, and after that, you don't really have way too many people that can even counter you, so you can essentially just fly around in the sky and blast people. Of course, make sure to protect your supports, make sure to protect your mercy, and there you go. I'm gonna say honestly, right now, as, as dumb as that may sound, that's probably the best way in order to carry your team in lower elo right now. It's a really good combo, very hard to counter, and while it doesn't do nearly as good the higher up you get and more people can counter it the higher up you get, up until, I'd say, even high plat, it works really, really well. Now, if you can't find any friends, or if nobody wants to play Mercy or Fair in your games, you can also try playing Soldier. Of course, I'm always going to say, until he gets nerfed a little bit more because one damage nerf doesn't do way too much, he's a really good pick. He's just what I said earlier. He's far range, he's safe, he works great right with height advantage, does a ton of damage, and really isn't way too hard to pick up. If you've been stuck at a certain elo, pick up one of those two things, and I feel like you really can win yourselves a lot of games. But, there you go, that's all I'm going to say about this, and you can follow any of those tips in any way that you want to. Now, of course, as tank, you can lead your team, so that's a really good way to carry, and of course, as support, you want to make sure to save your ultimates in order to stop the enemy's pushes, and there you go for a few tips for those guys. Anyways, as always, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, make sure to leave a like. Tell me if you guys have your, any of your own tips as far as how to carry, or maybe how you got out of these ranks, and how other people can too. Anyways, as always, guys, thank you all for watching, and have a wonderful day.